Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can multiply and divide fractions that include constants and variables. All right, first things first. To multiply, multiply numerators together to get the new numerator, and then multiply denominators together to get the new denominator. That's for multiplication. If you are dividing, you multiply by the reciprocal. So if you have a over b divided by c over d, you take this c uh, over d and you take its reciprocal, which would s move the c to the bottom and the d to the top, just like this over here, and then you multiply together, just like you did in multiplication. All right, let's go through a couple examples to make this hopefully a little bit easier. Find 3 over t times p over 5. So <clears throat> to do this, we're simply going to multiply straight across 3p. And then we have t times 5 is t5, but we um, write the number before the variable, so we would write that as 5t. So there is multiplying this fraction here. L over 5 times 6. If you don't have a, we've got a fraction here, but no fraction there. Simple way to solve that is to just put your um, whole number here, or if it was just x, just put whatever it is and put it over 1 and then multiply straight across. So we got L times 6, which would give us 6L over 5 times 1 over 5. Ugh, that does not look like a 5. That looks a little better. So you get 6L over 5. Okay. Um, this one here, we're going to multiply straight across on the top and multiply straight across on the bottom, just like always. 4 times 5 is 20T. And then x squared and y cubed. There is, there's nothing to multiply the other x by or the other y by. So we just write it as 20x squared and then y cubed to write it, alf write it uh, alphabetically, the variables. And then we have y times xy. So that's y to the first, y to the first. There's no other x's to multiply. So that x just stays by itself. And then y times y is y squared. Okay, and then now you'll notice we have x squared y cubed over x to the first y squared. We can actually simplify these since this is one term over um, another just one term. So we still have 20. Can't simplify the 20 at all. But x squared over x to the first is x to the first because we take 2 minus 1. All right, and then <clears throat> y to the third over y squared is really you can just so you understand this a little bit better, that's y, there's y cubed, and then there's y squared. So that simplifies to 1, that simplifies to 1, and we're just left with a y. So it's just simply would reduce down to, or simplify to 20xy. All right? All right. Next set of examples, find 4 over t divided by t over 7. So we would simply do this by leaving the first one, and then we find the reciprocal, just basically flip the second one over and multiply. So 7 over t. So 4 times 7 is 28 over t times t is t squared. Okay, This one here, r squared over 2. We're going to now multiply by 10 over r. So we have 10 r squared over 2r. Now both of these will actually simplify. 10 over 2 is 5. And we have r squared over r to the first. That's two r's on the top, one on the bottom. So we uh, sim one of the r's simplifies to one, and we're left with the other r. So that just simplifies. Two minus one is one. Five r to the first. Okay. And then the last one here, we have x squared. Oop, not x squared, but x y squared over z, and we're dividing by three x y. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this as three x y over one. So now I'm going to find the reciprocal of that as 1 over 3xy. Okay, so then that's just going to turn it into xy squared, because that's times 1. And then we have z times 3xy, so it's going to be 3xyz, right? The x's will reduce down. It's hard to cross an x off. It still looks like an x. Um, that reduces out to 1, and we have a y squared over a y, so one of those go away with one of those. So we are left with simply y over 3z would be what that simplifies to. Okay? All right, that's all that.
there is for this here. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.